Another plastic pitch gets knocked out the Scottish Cup, but it's a good day for Scottish football. As Hearts beat Hamilton Academical 2 0 at the Aki's Arena. Smoke bombs, though, was that really necessary? Pitch is destroyed. Probably not, but I do. I, I don't find it funny, like, because it's destroyed the pitch, but maybe that's the answer. Like, maybe just get a bunch of teams to smoke bomb all, all these plastic pitches and, and get out the game for good. Maybe that's a wee bit too harsh there in the feed. No, maybe, maybe I. I don't mean, come on. Give Hamilton a break. What? Give them a break. I give them a break. Imagine actually wanting Killies. Let me. Davy Martindale. Imagine the outburst Davy Martindale would have. Oh man, they're throwing smoke bombs at us. We've called off the VAR, man. Come on, Davy Martindale. Is he going to win tomorrow? I don't know, he might like. He might win tomorrow, but Stephen Humphrey says we're winning the day and hearts. Absolutely. Comprehensive win over Hamilton, who offered nothing. I actually can't recall one point Sander Clark was in any sort of threat or danger during this game. Can you? I was in danger having to listen to Michael Stewart do commentary, though. He's a fucking fud. I don't know who he was doing cool commentary with, but he, like, he shut him down, didn't he? Why? The instance he did, he, he was like, oh, come on, that was never a foul, son. And then, then, he, then he's, I remember, what was it last week? He's on about the free kick that was given for Hearts, the yellow. He's a, he's a, I, I don't understand how anyone can like this guy. He was on about the Ginelli getting two yellow cards in the space of like 10 seconds. I and then like when the guy was bringing up the fact, well the second one was a yeah, oh, but, but, but if he doesn't get the first one, well he knows he's got the first one. So how about Ginelli just knows his role and shuts his mouth? Yeah, like I mean, if, if, if you go to jail for 30 days for like, you know, supposedly punching someone even though you didn't and then you do, you're frustrated so you decide to murder someone in jail and then they hit you with a further 10 year deal you can't be saying I don't know but that murder wouldn't have happened if you didn't they put me away you know unfairly for 10 days you get my point exactly ranking the Hamilton manager on the TV former Dundee United legend but I do get your point and he, should, he shouldn't be commenting I don't, no one likes him don't know if it's the fact he played for like literally every club and got no allegiance to anyone, but I do think he bum licks hearts a bit. Do you not think so? He does, aye. I mean he must he must want Robbie Nielsen to add him to the the, the team like No, it was the same in him and Lafine. I mean they beat RFS and it's all we're gonna win the conference league. Well in a group that I think Rangers and Celtic honestly would have struggled to get out of. Aye, uh, well. So yeah, but I mean how can they beat RFS and they were marking it? In fairness, RFS through with Florentina links, I mean, and the other team, RFS through with Istanbul as well. They survived a Linfield massacre. <laughs> That's true, <laughs> fucking Linfield pummeled that team. No, no, they truly did, but Hamilton offered nothing in this game, it was just the, the first half was... I tell you what, this refuse offering nothing, so let's just wrap it up here. But Stephen Humphreys gets a goal, wasn't quite as good as his goal last week against Dundee United, but still, it was a good finish, left foot. Uh, a lot of annoying uh, shouts for shoot, when, every time Stephen Humphreys picked up the ball, which is kind of annoying, look, he scored a world day, right? He's not going to score that again probably in his fucking lifetime, so can we stop the, the shoot? Shout and shoot every time Humphreys picks up the... It's fucking annoying. And let's be real. 99 times out of 100, if a player's shot from the halfway line when there's other options, you'd be going absolutely nuts. Because he's not going to score. Exactly. See all these people shout and shoot. See if see if you're only winning the game and you need to get back into it. 10 minutes to go and Haldens won the up and Stephen Humphreys decides to take a shot from the halfway line and it, it fucking goes nowhere near the goal. Are, are you going to be happy? No, you're going to be fucking raging with the guys, so let's calm it down with the, you know, with the, the, the shoot chance, man. It's it's a bit fucking lame. Oh, and it's not like he's Perlo or something, you know, he's, he's Stephen Humphreys. <laughs> well, I mean, he, he, it was a good goal, like, I'm not taking it away from him, but... Oh, it was, but come on. Stephen Humphreys. Well, what's his point? What's your point? What? He's second fiddle behind Shankland. People are, I mean, people are having a bit of fun. I think you've took it to heart. So, he, he, because he's not a peer, though, he can't score good goals? No, my point is, it's just, it's not like he can mean it. Like, I think people are... <laughs> So, he didn't mean it? No, of course he came for it. But you even buried the Beckham one in the same fit. You said, oh, Beckham just hit it and fucking went in. Well, I think the Humphrey's goal was better than Beckham's. Yeah, so do I. But my point is, like, most of them for the halfway lines are hitting hoppers. I mean, no one could hump you. Humphrey. <laughs> yeah, but nine times out of ten, you're going to be trying to score but you're going to get nowhere near it no I like it but this BBC Scotland actually gets Shankland 
in the day the, the day the punditry. Well, when would that ever happen in the Premier League? Oh, like, I mean, I know Harry Kane can't speak English, so that's probably why they wouldn't have him, like, but... Hey, anyway, second half, Cammy Devlin got a late goal. It was a bit nervy, you know, it wasn't the greatest performance for Hearts, but again, it is away from home. Hamilton aren't the worst side. They've actually got good form at the moment. I believe they've won five at the last six games, the other one being a draw. So, plus, you're playing on a plastic pitch. So, I mean, it wasn't going to be easy tonight. But I'm glad they got the 2 0 win, clean sheet. This Hearts team's really good, you know, it's about. This Hearts team! I fucking know you're going to I'm sick! Uh, this Hearts <laughs> This Hearts team! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this Hearts team's fucking good, right? I, think... <laughs> I should edit that out, but I'm not going to. Like... Anyway, um. Could do a rhyme 118. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> anyway, point I was making is... Well, what's he all about when he does that? I don't know. I know it's because he, he hasn't even realised he's done it. But it's Every time he does that, I want to jump Who actually through. does a countdown? I always want to jump through the screen and batter him. Like, but anyway, my point was, like, before my voice broke there, I think this Hearts team is, is, is too good not to win silverware. And realistically, you can't win the league, so... May as well be a cup. May as well be the Europa Conference what? League. <laughs> it may as well be a cup. Why not the Scottish Cup? Can Hearts win the Scottish Cup this year? I hope so. Goals from Humphreys and Devlin get us into the next round. And Budge was also in attendance tonight. I mean, a lot of Hearts fans turned up here. I mean, Hearts must have outnumbered the Hamilton fans by about 4-1. to one. Like we said, with Shankland and the um, doing the punditry, uh, yeah, I mean, lots of jambles in attendance. So uh, it was good to see us get the win. And it's um, good to see actually Hearts bringing a lot of travelling fans. I think for too long it was just like an old firm gimmick. For the, but I mean, I guess you could boil that down to Hearts and Hibs being absolute piss for a few years there. <laughs> Couldn't you? Even yes. though Hibs are kind of still in that. But I mean, look at Aberdeen. They brought a decent turn out to Darvel and... Aye, well, how'd that, Darvel. <laughs> how'd that go for them? <laughs> anyway, right, Hearts are, the, well. Hearts are the first team through to the fifth round, guys. Uh, I'll up the quality next time. Just not feeling too good today. Uh, even though I'll be making a fit in ten minutes. Hopefully I'm feeling better for that. <laughs> anyway, that's it, guys. Hearts are through. Um, any closing thoughts here? Not really. <laughs> Fucking one of the worst videos I think I've ever made. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'll catch you in the next one. Till then! Peace!